Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm doing another figure review of a, uh, well, today I'm doing it of the 5 inch range if you're not aware and a set, the set being the first Doctor's enemy set now I think this retails for twenty five ninety nine. Um so is it worth 25 quid? Um personally, well, um it depends really if you're a, ma a massive fan of the first doctor or you like myself want to get some more maybe Cybermen or Daleks or or whatnot because essentially there's one exact replica of another uh, figure we've already got, which is this one, a variant, which basically means, if you're not aware, a slightly different um, figure from, you know, so if they slightly change this one, uh, this 10th Planet Cyberman, uh, that would be classed as a variant, but this is an exact replica of the other two 10th Planet Cybermen that I've got now. Um, and then this one's a new figure, but we'll get onto that one later, because essentially it's not, because it's a very basic, um, humanoid-based figure. So, yeah, why would be, why would you, what are the reasons why you would get this set? As I've mentioned, it'd be because you're a massive fanatic fan of the First Doctors, uh, or you want to get army builders, really. Um, because, yeah, granted, there is a new figure, uh, but... You know, it's not massively difficult for them to produce, so is it worth the 25 quid? Personally, I weigh more on the no, personally, but nonetheless, I will be going into more detail about each figure. So, we have here the 10th Planet Sideman, basic uh, detail, you know, the boots and the, um, and the mask and the uh, headpiece and whatnot and the... Um, chest unit and the hands being still hands and the back with all the creases and the wrinkles uh, effects and the sort of tubes um, leading to his shoulder pads uh, and then being see-through and whatnot articulation standard you know you got full 360 head um, arms can go out but not too far because of the tubes um, in at the there the hands can do full 360. Um, in at the knee, whoop, in at the knee joints, and the feet can move a bit. And in at the knee joints, uh, the boots can go full 360. Even though I don't know why you'd want them to go all the way like to the back <laughs> of the sideman, but nonetheless, he's got basic articulation, and it's basically an exact. Uh, replica of all the other 10th Planet Sidemen. Uh, originally, you could only get the 10th Planet Sidemen in um, the uh, sort of Sidemen uh, wave thing, collect and build wave. Um, but then I think they released the Age of Steel set and then this one later down the line. So, yeah, this one's from uh, William Hartnell's uh, last episode, which is the 10th Planet. Um, I'm not a massive fan of William Hartnell's Doctor, and um, I haven't really seen most of his era, so I can't really judge, but, so, yeah, I can't really say whether or not, um, you know, I can, I'm not going to be really right in saying what episodes he's from. Now, this one's the one that I like the most, the Dalek, which I think is from Planet of the Daleks, I'm not sure on that one. Um, it's got a full 360 head, um, you know. The eye stalk can go up and down, the flamethrower arm can go full 360, and so can the exterminator gun, can go full 360, and it's on its wheels. I like this paint app, like this sort of paint design, the blue, the baby blue really stands out vividly amongst the, the silver and whatnot, and the orange just, oh my god, just so bright and very menacing looking, like like it looks like flames and that and um, my one in the packaging is a bit bent there the um the sort of um the uh the bent uh tube there like the um that bit so yeah that's my only gripe with this figure but aside from that i like this one the most uh personally um out of the three figures you get 
Um, I personally, as I say, would say this one's the must-have, but it'll be, it's down to personal preference, really. If if you think you're a big enough fan of the um, First Doctor, then yeah, this is a worthy set to buy, but if not, then it might be a pass for you. Um, I can't really make that call because it'll vary from person to person. He's got the slats there, uh, like the little bumper um, and that very thin fender compared to uh, some of the... Uh, even older sort of uh, Dalek designs, but yeah, very cool, translucent y kind of plastic and sculpted really nicely to look like flames. Uh, and the bulbs are an orangey colour, so yeah, that's the two figures there. Uh, thirdly, we have a Roboman, which um, I didn't know anything about them. As I say, I've literally, William Hartnell's era, I've literally seen fully the time the planet, that is it. Um, and that is all, but yeah, uh, figure wise, this is just a repainted Count Scaglione from City of Death. Uh, I can tell that because of the ring and because of the um, where he's kind of like pocket handkerchief, there's a handkerchief there, which has been quite clearly just painted over. Uh, so they haven't even been bothered to get rid of said sculpt, which is uh, yeah, very lazy of them. A very basic sort of brown kind of wash over a white jacket. Uh, and that, hence the reason why I said it's a bit of a cop out from their point of view, because it makes it very, it makes it very, I don't know, a very sort of boring sort of new figure because it's like they could have made a risk, but if they did a risk, then from the consumer point of view, uh, you'd be paying much more for basically a variant, one a variant, one replica of one figure we've fully seen and a whole new figure. Um, at like 30 quid, you know, kind of like, for example, the Claws of Axos set with the gold Axon and the uh, Demons set with just the gargoyle, uh, like, uh, demon thing, and then the other two figures from both those sets just being uh, re-released variants. Um, but yeah, um, the main uh, cool bit is, you know, his headgear and all that, so yeah, that's really a nicely apt. Uh, aptly done and, and, and what really nice detail there and, and there and, and on the side and stuff. He has basic humanoid articulation, you know, full 360 arms uh, and whatnot. Um, hands can do full 360 um, and the head could as well, if needs be, uh, you know, do full 360. Um, and in at the knees and waist and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've I've not really seen any Robomen before, so prior I used to think that, uh, uh, to knowing what they were, I used to actually just think they were part converted, um, you know, Cybermen, but yeah, um, what would I rate this out of 10? I would have to give this set, the first Doctor's Enemy set, a well-earned 7 out of 10. I can't, personally, for me, I can't give it any higher than 7. Um, you know, it has its purposes, you know, if you're a Dalek fan, then, you know, you've got another Dalek. If you're a Cyberman fan, you've got another Cyberman there, um, and that. But if you're a massive First Doctor's, uh, fan, then you've got three, you know, figures that were from his tenure, you know. So, yeah, it'll just vary on person, so, yeah, 7 out of 10, it's a solid 7 out of 10. Um, it's not bad, but it's not brilliant. So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.